our students are receiving the best of what a school can offer, not only from the academic side, but also uh, the spiritual and, and also social training as well. Uh, we want our students to be equipped to do every good work that God has provided for them. One of the thrills for me of teaching in a Christian school is being able to see God at work on a day-by-day -day basis. I get to watch them as they go up through the grades, deepen that faith in Christ, and eventually impact their community for the glory of Jesus Christ. I have personally seen students go on to become youth pastors, missionaries, and Christian school teachers, and workers who are impacting the community and the world. What I like about Mr. L is that he's really fun and whenever he tells Bible stories, he actually really gets into the meaning. It makes you feel like um, he's telling you a whole different story. I like Lighthouse because here nobody judges and they show us a true Christian worldview. And I really love the fact that all the teachers, they show you true godly love. When I come to work every day, I'm excited knowing that I get to work with people who love the Lord, who are consummate professionals, who are gifted and talented at what they do, and they love the kids, and they, and they love the Lord. Lighthouse was really our second family uh, when we went through leukemia treatment with our daughter. I was four years old and I had to go to lots of surgeries and had to go to the hospital all the time. Our son was in first grade and Mrs. Newton is an angel. <laughs> uh, she taught those kids to be prayer warriors. They prayed every single day for Savannah. They all prayed for me at Lighthouse and when I got to first grade and second grade. They supported me because I was gone a lot of days being sick. I would run into parents and they would say every single night without fail their kids were remembering Savannah and lifting her up in prayer. Uh, they also provided practical meals whenever we needed it, carpooling, keep our kid, our other kid overnight. The support that we felt going through that time, um, well, make me love Lighthouse forever and be thankful for their role in our family's life. On the academic side, Lighthouse endeavors to provide each and every student with a quality uh, education, one that stands up to the standards of the state, the Association of Christian Schools International has provided their stamp of approval on the program that we offer here through an accreditation process. So not only do our students meet our state standards, but they are exceeding the state standards in every single subject. We have uh, three kids here at Lighthouse Christian and we were very impressed with the achievement results of the school academically and it's been uh, everything we'd hoped it would be. The Lighthouse has a very strong curriculum in its academics and it's very challenging. The teachers help you a lot if you need help. I've learned a ton and I think I'm prepared to move on. By the time I'm done, I'll be very prepared. It's a place where our teachers look individually at our students. They help them identify what their gifts are and not just in, in teaching them the core courses, but in really understanding who they are as people. Having small class sizes where our, our faculty truly gets to know and establish relationships with our kids, they are able to really build and nurture these gifts to prepare our students for the next step. Well, at Lighthouse, the next step is high school. I attended Lighthouse my first year in first grade and went here through eighth grade. And now I'm at Gig Harbor High School. I am a junior, going to be a senior next year. I play football for the Gig Harbor Tides. I am being recruited by the Ivy League schools and some of the local Pac-10 schools. Lighthouse really prepared me for both those academically as it gave me a good foundation and good test scores on both the SAT and ACT. 
transition from Lighthouse to high school at Bellarmine actually was easier than I thought it would be. I felt uh, completely prepared for like all of the regular classes. And I'm even in AP and honors classes now, so it's obvious that I really got a strong foundation at Lighthouse. When I first came to Lighthouse, I didn't know how to read. I didn't write very well. The great thing about the teacher was that instantly she could tell I was a little nervous and maybe a little stressed thinking, wow, what's this year going to look like? And um, I just remember she was so encouraging um, in saying that I will get Lauren to where she needs to be throughout this year. Do not worry, I can do it, she's going to do great, and I was instantly relieved. Mrs. Rodriguez, um, every Thursday I think, would tutor me, and sometimes it'd be fun, like correcting people's papers, or just working on my math papers that I didn't finish. Her teacher was just right beside her through the whole year. You could tell she was really dedicated, and she was following through with what she said she would do for Lauren. I learned to read. I learned in the sermon time that I was going to be held back again. I was disappointed about that. And I asked for that teacher again and, you know, true to what she promised in her first year with Lauren in second grade, she did exactly the same thing with her and obviously it paid off because Lauren is, has been on the honor roll um, all year this year and she won a Washington State writing competition with the Reading Rainbow program, first place for third graders. I started to really like writing. I'd think up stories in my head and I would start just writing ideas down. And I came up with the story Ruby and the Pink Pearl about a mermaid. I got first place for the Washington, the local contest. I started reading more and then this year with AR reading I realized that I could go farther in reading and I can do farther in lots of things also. She's just continuing to grow and grow academically and I credit Lighthouse and I give all the credit to her teachers and their commitment and their dedication to the students and that there will not be a child that is lost in the system so to speak. They just ensured that she was going to do her best and um, stood by her and gave of their time, their free time and um, for that we are very grateful. I'm in fourth grade and now I read in eighth grade level. Ruby's gift was the best in the whole wide ocean. The end. I've been at Lighthouse since kindergarten. I have great friends. I met uh, Zach Gartland. The first year he came up to me and said, hi, my name's Zach, and we met and have been good friends ever since. When you look around and you see what has happened now and you see the building and you go back and you think of where they started in four different churches in, in little Sunday school rooms that they had to pack up and pull down every day sometimes, <laughs> it to me seems like the hand of God. I truly believe that. As I meet new families coming into our program, and as I reflect on the 15 years that our family has been at Lighthouse, I can state emphatically that Lighthouse's best years lie ahead.